what about adding physiological measurements? We already um, did a demonstration for what it would look like if you had the, our MP160 system connected. Um, so with our MP160 system, you can connect uh, many different physiological signals. I'm going to concentrate on a few common ones that uh, come up in the context of VR. So let's look at stress, for example. So we can record heart rate, heart rate variability uh, using uh, electrocardiogram uh, as well as pulse measurements. So we, if you can see here, uh, these are our wired uh, sensors. They're just really like very, very small amplifiers. Um, you know, the, the wireless ones are just little uh, devices that, that you can wear like, like this. So, so you can have sensors like wireless or wired for heart rate, pulse, electrodermal activity. We have a blood pressure um, sensor that's, of course, it's wired. You can do cardiac output, um, a pre-ejection period, total peripheral resistance, respiration, all these different stress-related measurements and related to many other um, uh, psychological function as well. So. In addition to that, you can um, record functional near infrared. You can see here our functional near infrared uh, uh, system used under, and I'm just going to grab uh, a sensor here, so you can you can see. Then you can see like this is this is a sensor uh, functional for the functional near infrared system. So it's very thin, and you know as you can see it fits under the can mounted display on, under this one right here for example the the hp omnicept so what is functional near infrared i'm going pretty much going to assume that some people know but some people don't have any idea uh, i'll try to be brief uh, functional near infrared is used to measure changes in oxygenation in the brain um, there are correlates of brain activity related to uh, oxygen consumption by neurons. So we shine infrared light into the head and we're looking at how much light comes back and then oxygenated and deoxygenated hemoglobin, they absorb different parts of the infrared spectrum. So by looking at what light comes back, we can know if there was more or less activity in, in the brain. So this, since we're gonna share these slides with you at the end, I'm, I've put in some information you can review afterwards. Um, Okay, um, so th this is what, what the sensor looks like when you slow down um, greatly, the speed at which it operates, it's illuminating uh, the brain. So you can measure from the left medial and right prefrontal cortex. Keep in mind that when you are using eye tracking, it, you only are able to measure from up here. So over here, eye tracking systems put out some light that interferes with, with the bottom um, uh, sensors on, on the sensor. So you're really using about half of the sensor. Uh, the other part will get eye tracking interference, but you will get um, half of the prefrontal cortex uh, just fine. Uh, these are sort of the regions you're getting data from. Now, the, the and functional near infrared is measured, uh, is, is used, for example, for measuring cognitive workload. Um, so, um, and we have tight integration with the system. So we can actually stream in real time the data, the oxygenation data into the virtual world. And you can use that for biofeedback if you want. So you can see here how it's streaming the data back into the, into the world. And then also we can send markers, just like we can to acknowledge, we can send them to the uh, functional near infrared system. So it knows when I looked at uh the the chicken when it looked at the uh at the creature at the soccer ball etc all these things are going to have can happen for you automatically um the different kinds of systems that we have so there is a one system that you wear you can wear on your arm and then it's wireless then you have a wired system uh, and then you have like big wired system for connecting multiple participants and you can connect multiple participants with all these anyway um, and, they all, uh, and they can also be multiple participants in VR. Um, now EEG and cognitive states that's also we see a lot of people interested in that so um, 
This is a, a wireless system, nine or 20 channel wireless system that fits again, very comfortably under the head mounted display. You can see here a picture. Uh, so, and then you can measure cognitive states like engagement, confusion, distraction, drowsiness, workload and stress upon completing an initial calibration. So th there's an initial calibration that you have to complete like a cognitive task, and then you can measure these cognitive states during the experiment. Um, so uh, once again, to make it clear, we have this full integration between the physiological data acquisition and the virtual reality component. So we can stream physiological data into the virtual world. So here is an example of it. On the left side, we can see, um, and yeah, let me um, turn down the volume here. So uh, on, on the left side, we can see the virtual reality display changing, and that's as a function of the data in acknowledge. So uh, that's respiration data. So when we're inspiring, it becomes blue. When we expire, it becomes red. When we inspire again, it becomes blue and becomes red. And then the balloon moves up and down. Uh, very rudimentary, it's just, just to give you an idea of uh, in how it works and that it does work, but you can extend to all sorts of biofeedback. Stimulation delivery. We have a send delivery system that can be controlled by the virtual reality software, and that's very useful. Like imagine you're looking at a pizza, the moment you look at it, a smell is delivered that corresponds to that. And so um, depending on how you're interacting with the stimuli, we can change the delivery uh, of sense. Uh, we also have electrical stimulation, citro, thermal stimulation. For example, this is the thermal stimulator. And uh, imagine looking at a cold object and then feeling colder temperature on your hand and then looking at something hot and then you're getting different kind of feedback. So many options exist because of the, the high level of integration that we have achieved between all these different components. Uh, 